In theoretical physics, we have the Planck constant, H, representing a minimum quantity in the fabric of space and time. The Planck constant is very often divided by 2 pi. This happened so often in quantum mechanics that they came up with a new mathematical symbol called the reduced Planck constant, or h-bar, to get rid of the 2 pi. This reduced the size of equations, but I believe it also removes something fundamental about the process that the mathematics is representing. In this theory, the 2 pi represents circular geometry that is formed by spherical symmetry. The spherical geometry can be based on Huygens principle of 1670 that says every point on a light wave front has the potential for a new spherical light wave. Each point on the curvature of the wave front forms the potential for a new light photon of energy, a new oscillation or vibration as the future unfolds. We have to square the radius of the sphere because the process is unfolding on the spherical surface. Therefore, we have the speed of light squared. We have the charge of the electron squared and the probability of the wave function squared. The interior of the sphere is naturally three-dimensional, forming our three-dimensional space of everyday life. The two-dimensional surface of the sphere forms a manifold for the movement of positive and negative charge. Our ever-changing our ever world is based on this manifold and it could be called the fourth dimension of time. Within this process, the Planck constant represents a minimum quantity in space and time. This is formed by the center of the sphere being a constant, with the radius squared being a constant relative to the spherical surface. The 2 pi represents circular geometry that is formed by the spherical symmetry with a constant relationship between the radius of the circle and its area.